those guys and get them to rebound. Um, you know, Trent's never been a, been, a, been a guy to go get rebounds. Io's never been a guy to go really chase balls on the glass. Uh, Dre has. Uh, my son Dre in two national tournament games last year. He had 12 in each game. Um, so we got to figure out how to, how to cope with that a little bit. I like that lineup. Uh, I thought I love AJ on the court because I know AJ's going to, I think, seven, eight rebounds tonight. Uh, you know, and I thought that uh, I didn't see enough of that lineup with Georgie and AJ uh, playing a little smaller. Uh, but, uh, and I thought DeMonte did some good things tonight. Brett, I know with so many young players on this roster, you know, with uh, everything uh, that you've seen, you know, leading up to this first exhibition game, what do you guys think you need to work on before next Thursday? Well, I think we've got to, you know, we've got to continually learn to be a 40-minute team. It's consistent, you know, and, and we fought that a little bit in practice. You know, we, we did, you know, towards the, the last quarter of practice, we slipped. Uh, they got they got to learn to stay locked in and, and learn to stay focused throughout. And uh, you know we we talk about everyday guys all the time, and, and you got to do your job uh, as long as that uniform's on and there's still time on the clock. And, and uh, uh, obviously we had how many turnovers we had tonight? Seventeen. That's way too many against you know a team that uh, didn't didn't bother us a whole lot. And you know we've got to we got to clean that up. We've got to clean up. Uh, uh, you know, more consistent effort on the glass. Uh, but, uh, you know, some of the other stuff defensively, uh, film will help and we'll get better at that. Uh, what do you think uh, out of the diamond press hook you guys were throwing tonight? It seems like you finally started to get some sex success on when Allen was at the point of it. Yeah, I mean, it's, 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 uh, it's one of the advantages of, of having film and scouting, which we didn't have today. I mean, we had no idea how they were going to set up and match up, and, and uh, it threw a little different wrinkle at us. I think we were very, very poor in it early. Um, it's something I want to be able to play. Uh, shrink the clock. I thought we had some success with it uh, at times. Uh, but again, it's, it's, uh, uh, it's something we'll continue to grow with and, and get better at as we go, and I think we can be very good at it. Coach, I always start so from three from the field, but then he kind of gets it together and finishes with 13 points, makes six out of the last seven, seven shots. What did you see from him? Yeah, I think the first game, nervous jitters, I think, you know, an excitement. And I think that, uh, um, you know, I, I think the one thing that we didn't see is how good defensively he's, he's going to be. Well, I saw that in our scrimmage. Um, he's a lead defender. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, this one's just get it in the books, get it out of the way. He was really good um, at times. Uh, he's, he's uh, um, you know, it's hard. There's a lot of first, and I'm sure he was nervous and, and, and excited to be out there all in one. So, um, yeah, I thought he played, you know, a little fast early, had some turnovers uh, that he normally doesn't make, and, and he'll clean those up. Coach, you bring on Andre, you know, off the bench, of is there a point where you look at his performances and, you, and start thinking well, you got to throw him out there in the starting lineup? I don't worry about the starting lineup too much. Um, I kind of like the fact that you bring, you know, you bring a guy like Andres off the bench who's who's capable of getting 20 any night um, and scoring. You bring a guy like Demonte who I think's got a chance to be an elite defender. Uh, and you get a guy like Alan Griffin who's a catch and shoot guy right now that's that's really good. Now you start adding some real pieces. Um, to your team so you don't have a, a significant drop off uh, after uh, after your starting five. And I try to put pieces together in that and uh, not just look at the first five, but, but, but look at the overall picture. I don't want a significant drop off when all three of those guys are tired. Now all of a sudden you throw Dre in there and the other team's a little fatigued and here's a guy who can really go downhill and uh, he missed a couple threes tonight he normally makes. so. Uh, you know, you had, had a couple of those, and he, he would have had a great night. So uh, we'll keep tinkering with it. I, you know, it's you know, kind of almost put him in a hat and see who we uh, who we pulled out tonight to start. And uh, that's the that's the reason we play these and get a lot of lineups out there. And and uh, now we can go back and evaluate. Yeah, just this team's length that made you look at the press more. Was there something else about you know the guys that you have that? No, I, I think the length, I think that uh, uh, tempo, 
you know, on the defensive end. I think defensive, the defensive side can, um, you know, I think we had a couple possessions where we were pushing a 10 second count. Um, I like that. Uh, we've got to get in a little bit quicker. And, and I think that, um, again, this will be something that uh, we got two or three things that we do out of that. And I think it'll be something that, uh, uh, again, I think over the course of time can be really effective for us. You mentioned AJ's rebounding. Uh, given this roster makeup is the seven rebounds, is that the kind of night you're going to need from him night in and night out? You have to lean on him more in there? Well, I think it's what he's capable of. I don't know if we have to lean on it. I think it's, I, I want every, every player to be the best they can be. I think he's proven uh, since I've been here, he's been in a tremendous rebound. And uh, I think he's, uh, he gives the effort to go. I think that's what we've got to get Tebby and I think it's what we've got to get out of um, those guys have done that in practice, and uh, yeah, tonight it was it was uh, maybe a little starry eyed, and, and, and they didn't go as much. And uh, but yeah, AJ's AJ's a guy that you know we kind of know what we're getting there every night. Right. We don't have a lot of front court depth right now. Uh, what's the status of the two guys that are out right now, Higgs and Lorenzo? Good question. Um, you know, I think Anthony's. Um, you know, a little further away, uh, coming off of off his foot, and, and uh, you know he's missed so much practice uh, that, that we'll have to make an evaluation with him as as he's gaining um, and healing. Uh, you know, Adonis is just a typical recovery from a uh, from an ACL, and uh, you don't rush that. You don't. Uh, um, you know, he's he's. He's doing things with us in practice. He's just not doing everything with us in practice yet. And uh, you know, we'll see. And, and uh, you know, he's got to, most importantly, he's got to feel comfortable with it. And I think he's gaining confidence with that. And, and, uh, and Don's a good player. And you're talking about a guy that's fifth year senior, that's older, and, and you know, he's a proven rebounder. And uh, some of the things he does in practice are uh, going to be a big asset for this group. Cool. Coach, what are the focus areas that you're really looking at with Tev and his development and getting him to where you want him to be? Yeah, I think the biggest thing with Tev is just getting him to slow down. It's a comfort, and, and we talk at length. I, I've been really pleased with Tev's effort. Tev has so much pride. He's watching a ton of film. He's, uh, you have to understand what you're looking for uh, offensively and, and, and defensively. And, and we play a little bit of different style than he's used to defensively. So, um, you know, for him, the game will slow down. But he's got a lot of pride. He keeps working his tail off. He was in the gym uh, this morning getting up extra shots. Uh, and his time's coming, and there'll be no doubt about that. And, and uh, we need him on the court. Um, but again, it's, it's one of those things that you just don't rush uh, with young guys. And you want him to be successful. You want him to gain confidence. And uh, uh, when the game slows down for him, then we'll see uh, a guy that's playing a little freer and a little, uh, little slower pace 